Hey there, welcome back to Chillington Valley. Feeling a little sheepish today. Actually, I uh, ended up going and buying this livestock trailer and some sheep. Black sheep. And so I have sheep now. Very good. Decided to go ahead and get some sheep. I figured that'd be a little residual income coming in with the wool. So, got that taken care of. I was concerned that this truck would not would pull this trailer. Uh, but it, it actually did pretty good. It's a little light on the front end. But, little spin there. But it does work okay. Also bought a new grain trailer. Just been this money's been burning a hole in my pocket, and unfortunately, I'm down to nothing now. We'll just leave that there. Bought this uh, Bailey trailer. It holds quite a bit more than the one I had. Figured with a larger field, now it would uh, come in handy. So I got that. So let's see. I need to feed the sheep. I believe they'll take. Probably some kind of grass or hay. They do. So let me grab the tractor with a front loader. And we'll get them some food. I have these bells left over from earlier on. I think it's just some kind of grass. Yeah, it's just grass. But they'll eat it. Or will they? They will not. Wait, it does say grass on there. Huh. Maybe I have to drop it on the other side? Oh, whew, thank goodness. How much did that give them? They probably take another bail. Figure since I had this already in the barn, might as well use it for something. The sheep, they don't take a whole lot. Uh, there's some different foods they can take, but I mean, technically I could just feed them grass if I wanted to and still produce. Oh, back up there. There we go. All right. So I don't have any of the other uh, options there, so that's what, what they can get. But that'll be okay for now. At least they won't go hungry.
All right, well, there's not a whole lot for me to do right now. I'm going to let some time pass by. And then I think it will be time for harvest. I checked the price on the spelt and it's pretty good. As you can see, there's my other trailer parked out here to sell. So I still have that and the combine now to sell. But I'm going to run this load of spelt up to the sell point. It's actually not too far from the farm here. Let me double check the map here real quick. Okay, so the next road. Oh, this trailer empties out pretty quick. That's nice. Alright, back up a little bit. Alright, it is the next day. And very early. 6.30 in the morning. Well, that changed the light a little bit. And uh, have some stuff ready. The linseed and the oats are both ready. So I started on this uh, linseed field here. Wanted to go ahead and get that uh, taken care of. And then I'll move into the oats as soon as this is done. But I will have straw to pick up for both of these fields, which will be good. I did get a little biogas plant payout last night. I think it was around 13,000. That was from the hay off of the, well, grass off of the field over there that I planted the carrots in. And if I could ever sell that combine and now that other trailer get me back up there. Also considering selling that uh, blue trailer too. It, I don't seem to use it very often. Kind of just sitting around. Mike can use the money from it for a better purpose. Now that I have the sheep, I do need to think about their other food sources, which the carrots will take care of one of them. But I do need to think about some kind of uh, fermented gr grass or something, hay. So that's going to be the next challenge. I do have all of that grass around the cow pasture that is currently not being used. Mike can mow that up and put it to use.
And I do have to remember this combine will not shut off for whatever reason when it gets full. scratch the paint on the new trailer with these bushes. Isn't that a shame? Alright, that's good enough. to get cracking on this field and uh, see how much I end up with. Nice thing about having this larger trailer is I won't have to make several trips to unload the field. It'll just be one trip. Let me check the prices for linseed. If I can find it. There it is. Might as well go ahead and set go ahead and sell it. Oh, okay. Way up here in the Edge of the map. Go ahead and bring this down here and I'll get it started with a helper on this field. And then I'll run that up to sell it. Alright, up here at Densley Store. Densley Stores. Gonna see how much they'll pay me for this load of linseed. Hopefully, a lot. Not as much as I was hoping. Wow. 
Do it right. Well, back to it. Well, I've already uh, unloaded the combine one time in the oats. So I have a helper over there working. So I decided to go ahead and grab the baler down. And uh, start getting this straw picked up. I'm going to pack it a little tighter to uh, 8,000 liter bells. Just help with transporting a little bit less bells. And then I'm also going to keep some down at the farm. Uh, I know the, the chickens don't seem to be using any straw. I put that initial bit in there, but the sheep take it too, so I don't know if they're going to use through it. Um, they may produce manure or something. I'm not sure. But I'll just keep some there for now, just to have on hand in case they do. Well, as a matter of fact, I could probably check. Let's see here. It looks like they have the same amount, but they are producing manure, so that may be what they go through the straw. sure if the harvester may be able to finish up that field on the uh, tank without filling up. Doesn't seem like it's getting too many off of that field. He's in, he's in trouble there. He's in trouble. Let's check on the price of oats. Looks like they're going to the farm shop. Oh, right across the river again. How convenient. Let's run those down here and make a little more money. Another 15,000. Well, 30,000 on the field so far, and I have all of the straw. 
or some of it to sell. All right, well, let me run back over here. I'm gonna keep on doing some bailing and then uh, get that picked up off the field. I got all the straw picked up and bailed and currently uh, getting the last of the bales picked up here. I don't think I'm going to fit them all on the trailer. I may. Looks like I'm going to have one to spare. How about that? Worked out pretty good. So I'm going to get this down to the farm and unload some. And then I'll take the rest to the sell point. I do have the millet that is coming off. I don't know if it will make the straw. Hopefully it will. Alright, I got uh, the straw taken up to the barn. And I left myself, uh, I think, five bells. And I'm up here at the Valley View barn. How in the world am I supposed to get in here? That is interesting there. Oh, oh. This is a very tight barnyard. Here we go. Another twelve thousand dollars. No, doing pretty good today. Now, how do I get out of here, guys? I appreciate you watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, uh, please be sure to give me a like. And if you are not a subscriber, go ahead and click that subscribe button. It costs you nothing. And it helps me to continue to grow my channel. So I'm back in a pretty good place here. So next time, should be uh, harvesting either carrots or millet or both.